Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. He clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion, <coughs> excuse me, for October 19th through November 2nd. For October 19th to 23rd, the flow is forecast to consist of a trough ridge trough configuration, kind of looking like, like this. Trough here off the, uh, over the East Pacific, across Alaska, ridge to the west, and we have a, tr a ridge that builds into Canada, and we have a trough here in the east. Now, models are good agreement with this, but this um, just various uh, differences in the intensity of the height anomalies. Uh, during this period, we're going to have a upper low that... Um, in the Rockies that'll track eastward. Here it is, right here, this feature. And we'll track over the northern plains, upper Midwest, into the middle of next week and push a cold front to the east coast by the weekend. And here we get to the we'll put it in motion. And it pushes the cold front east. We'll look at it at the surface. Here's our upper low cause snow here across higher elevations. And then here's the front over the weekend. And uh, development system over the southern, over the plains and the Midwest will bring snow to higher elevations of the northern central Rockies. And rain should spread from the uh, Rain should spread from the Midwest to the Great Lakes. Light rain is, is forecast along the cold front as it moves to the east. And a trough of the eastern Pacific will send several systems inland and will cause um, rain from northern California into the northwest. Some of the rain could be heavy. So we'll look at the first system here. Here's one system. You can see the next system moving in. So um, mostly actually be here and across the east. We're going to look now at the period for October 24th to the 28th. And a trough forecast of the west and the northern states. See right here, whoops. See right here. And we have a region that's forecast over the four corners and the Southern Plains, and also across Canada. So for this forecast period, I'm forecasting forecasting below normal temperatures here, and I'm forecasting anomalies of 4 to 6 degrees below normal, above normal temperatures here, with anomalies of 48 degrees above normal precipitation calling for above normal precipitation here and the probability of currents is 35 to 40 percent and we have below normal precipitation for this region probability of occurrence is 35 to 40 percent now we're going to look at the period for um for october 29th to november 2nd and during this period the the uh, models are not a great agree are not in great agreement as they have been. So um, here's the GFS has a trough trough configuration of the ridge here. Then we look at the uh, its ensembles, kind of a zone of flow trough ridge here. Then we look at the um, European ensembles trough here in the west across the southern plains and along the east coast ridge here to the north. And then we look at the, um, but then we look at the ensemble means, ridge in the west, trough in the east. I think this is more in line with what we're going to be seeing. So for this forecast period, I'm calling for... Below normal temperatures here, and for this region, and I'm calling for anomalies of two to four degrees below normal above normal temperatures forecast here with the ridge and i'm forecasting anomalies of two up to two to eight degrees 
above normal and for precipitation calling for above normal precipitation for this region and the probability of occurrence is 35 to 55 percent and below normal precipitation forecast here and the probability of occurrence is 35 to 45 percent so that's the long range weather forecast discussion for october 19th to, to november 2nd thanks for coming jim munley's world of weather and have a good day